It's not meant. Ah. Ah. This is a, my very first computer, TRS-80 Model 3. This video would not be about this. Come on. Boston, don't look back. This is not about my record collection. Yeah, this is my stamp collection from when I was a little kid in Korea. When I came to the United States, in New York, people collected stamps still, so I was able to trade some with them. But when I came to Oklahoma, no more stamp collecting. Oh, look. You know what that is, right? October 17, 1979, Norman, Oklahoma, Lloyd Noble Center. Kiss. So what console is this? Little... Come on, Jeff, you know what that is, right? Little what? No. It's not going to be about my book collections. Look at this. No, it's not going to be about my comic book collections. Oh, hold on. Okay, maybe. This is not about my Star Wars Lego sets. Actually, it's my kids. But this is about my Star Wars. Issue number one, two, three, back in 1979. These are very rare comic. Best known sale to date was 9.4 graded copy which sold for $25,000 in June 2017. Except, mine doesn't look like this. And no barcode. Someone convinced me that this is worth a lot more than those that I originally had from high school. Yep, he scammed me. Let me show you what this is really worth. Reprints are not valuable. You should try to get a few dollars for them at a garage sale. Let me explain. When the Star Wars movie first came out, I went to watch it. It was, to me, that was like, wow! You know? And I, I was already a comic book collector at the time. And I said, you know what, I'm going to purchase original issues one two and three as soon as they came out uh, my friend convinced me that because this didn't have a barcode and because it this had a diamond in there that it was a reprint with a limited a print limited print edition it was worth more than mine uh, Again, let me explain. I was in the United States for three years. I barely spoke the language. Uh, and I barely understood 
what American culture was like. But I love collecting. I cl love collecting stamps. And when I couldn't collect stamps, I collected comic books. And he did give me his really bad shape Spider-Man comic books. Older. You know, these are like 70... I collected since 74, 75. These are like, you know, from 1966. And I go, wow, that's cool. I get to have something from 1966 at the time. I thought this was going to be our Superman number one. And, well, it's not that. But still. Anyway, I just want to say that uh, I realized that uh, I'm, your channel made me realize that I am a collector. Your channel made me realize that I want to go back and touch some of the things that uh, I used to touch, you know, uh, stamps, comic books, records, my old computers. Uh, if it wasn't for my mom, that that she she saved some of the records and the, uh, my old computer. Actually, they went through a tornado, and my mom uh, dig through all these piles and piles of rocks and stuff, and dig all these things out and saved it, and. I, I, at the time, I said, Mom, just let it go. Let... Uh, now, uh, after watching your video, I go, you know what? I do have some of those old things in the, in the, uh, my, my mom's shack. You know, I could go and dig those things out and, you know, play with them again. <laughs> go back to my childhood, you know? And so that's what I want to say. I want to just thank you for... Uh, inspiring that in me and uh, I want to thank you for teaching me how to grow a uh, bonsai it's, it's doing great and and it turns out that's you're just your side you know side routine your main routine is being a collector and I want to stop I'm going to keep watching your channel and become a a great collector like you right <laughs> all right man all right, thank, again, thanks for everything. Now, men out. Oh, look. Well, my son left me.